In the 1950s, amidst the dense jungles of Sarawak, located on the island of Borneo, a series of crises unfolded. While malaria and yellow fever gripped the nation, another threat emerged as insurgent forces wreaked havoc on the villages. Employing guerrilla warfare tactics, they proved elusive to track and eliminate, leading to widespread destruction and panic. After failed attempts to curb the insurgency, including jungle poisoning, the government resorted to a novel approach, deploying the nation's elite airborne division, known as the Fur Beret Paw Troopers. This Dirty 30 crew of highly trained and uniquely evolved warriors were tasked with eradicating the threat by any means necessary. However, the adversaries in this conflict were not human insurgents, but rather a relentless horde of rats, hungry, disease-carrying pest, ravaging crops and spreading fear among the populace. By the time the 1960s rolled around, the malaria outbreaks and other diseases were getting worse for the tiny nation. Desperate, the government devised a last-ditch plan, an advertisement in the paper calling for recruits to join a newly formed, unconventional group of fighters. Quickly, a motley crew of individuals answered the call, ready to embark on a perilous mission deep within the jungles. Facing an enemy adept at guerrilla warfare and psychological tactics, the recruits, cats, bred for millennia, for combat stood poised for battle. Armed with razor-sharp teeth and permanently fixed bayonets, they awaited deployment. Packed into crates aboard helicopters, around 30 or so brave souls prepared to descend into the heart of the conflict zone. On the day of the operation, the LZ was hot, lurking with danger at every turn. Alpha Company swiftly made contact securing a perimeter before venturing out into the dense foliage. After the feline forces descended from the skies, the jungle became a chaotic battleground, with cats pouncing and rats scurrying in every direction. While the sight of airborne kitties may have seemed like a clever solution on paper, the practicality of using them in such terrain became quickly apparent. Months later, the rebel rat forces were in retreat, and the mission was deemed a success. Malaria cases plummeted, war medals received, champagne all around. However, upon closer scrutiny, doubts emerged regarding the mission's true impact. Debates raged among the top brass at HQ, questioning the mission's efficacy and ethical implications. While the rat population decreased, the effects on disease transmission remained uncertain. Moreover, the unintended consequences of introducing cats into non-native environments raised concerns as their numbers flourished, posing a new challenge. The mission's outcome was a mixed bag, a marginal success with lingering ethical dilemmas. It stands as a testament to the complexities of military strategy, environmental stewardship, and the unforeseen consequences of animal warfare. A cautionary tale, it continues to provoke debate and criticism, serving as a reminder of the delicate balance between intervention and unintended consequences. And that's the story of Operation Cat Drop. Thanks for clocking in.